2012. America stands divided over an issue that defines the way we live. The light bulb. In 2007, the U.S. Congress passed a law that said starting January 2012, American stores are no longer allowed to sell 100-watt incandescent light bulbs. People went bonkers. I've stocked up on enough incandescent light bulbs to last for the next 50 years. It's another invasion of personal liberty by our government. Free our light! Free our light! But do any of these people actually know how a light bulb works? If they did, they might change their tune. In 1879, Thomas Edison had an idea. This turned out to be a world-changing invention that would still be used over 130 years later. The incandescent light bulb. Here's how it works. The outside of a light bulb is made of glass and has a glass mount inside. Two wires shoot up through the glass mount and two others poke out behind it. These wires hold up a tightly coiled piece of tungsten metal. Electricity runs up the first wire, through the tungsten, and out the second wire. The great thing about tungsten is that it can heat up to really high temperatures without melting. But when exposed to oxygen, it burns. So the inside of the bulb is filled with the inert gas argon. You could say that the argon calms down the tungsten and stops it from burning. Anyway, how does this electric circuit create light? To find out, we have to zoom into the tiny electrons rushing through the tungsten. The electrons bump into the tungsten atoms, creating heat. As they cool down, they release the extra energy as photons, the basis of light. That is what happens when you flick a switch. But Thomas Edison's brilliant invention has one big problem. It is extremely inefficient. 90% of the energy an incandescent light bulb uses is wasted as heat. That's like buying a whole pizza, eating one slice, and throwing the rest out. A 100 watt bulb turned on for a year burns 714 pounds of coal. Multiply that by millions of light bulbs all over the country, and that's a huge contributor to climate change. Then, almost a century after Edison, a guy named Edward Hammer came up with the idea that solved Edison's big problem. The Compact Fluorescent Light Bulb, or CFL. Here's how this one works. The main part of the CFL is a spiral tube made of glass. It has a fluorescent coating inside. The tube is filled with argon gas and mercury vapor. An electric current shoots up the tube, which excites the argon and mercury atoms and makes them produce ultraviolet light. Humans can't see this light, but it stimulates a fluorescent coating on the inside of the tube. The coating absorbs the energy and emits light we can see. That can make a huge difference for the environment. Now you get to eat half the pizza. A CFL uses less than a quarter of the energy an incandescent bulb uses. An incandescent bulb burns this much coal in one year. A CFL that lets out the same amount of light burns this much coal. It's simple. CFLs save money and help the environment. California's already put this law into place, and it didn't fall into the ocean. And yet, Congress is now backpedaling. Maybe that's because of the 535 Congress people, only three are scientists and only six are engineers. Scientists and engineers know that the only way to make progress is through change. Since Edison's time, there have been huge changes. The way we navigate. The way we communicate. So why not the way we illuminate? For Edison, this whole decision would be a no-brainer.